Hi, Patrick with Wholesale Shade. In this video, we're gonna talk about the tools that you need to keep on your truck, keep in your toolkit every time you go out to a job site so that you can do the basic functions of installing and, and uh, troubleshooting maintenance for a shade sale. This is all part of Shade Sale University that we put together to help you uh, as a resource for yourself, for your employees, uh, to learn from designing and selling a shade sale all the way through to in installation. So please go online, Wholesale Shade, check out Shade Sale University. So these are the, the bare minimum tools I think you should have. So for tightening the uh, cable clamps, we have a quarter inch drive ratchet, eight millimeter socket. I like the deep sockets, that way as you're tightening it, you're not fighting the, the if you use the shorter socket. So try and get the, the deep sockets. The half, uh, I'm sorry, quarter inch cable is a 10 millimeter socket and the 3 8 is a 17 millimeter socket with a 3 8 drive ratchet. Moving on to the turnbuckles, so if you watch the videos or you have experience uh, installing a shade sail, you want to tighten the turnbuckle with two wrenches and we do have a video on that. So if you take a, a crescent wrench, grab the body of the turnbuckle and then a box end wrench to tighten the lock nut, that's the way you want to tighten it. You don't want to tighten it against the post. If the turnbuckle is hooked to your, your post here or your shade sail and you tighten it this way, it's going to loosen the other side because you have a left hand and a right hand thread. So always tighten your turnbuckle with two wrenches. The uh, eight millimeter turnbuckle uses a half inch box end wrench. The uh, 10 millimeter turnbuckle uses a 17 millimeter wrench and the 12 millimeter turnbuckle uses a three quarter inch wrench. There's probably a metric equivalent, but this works pretty good. And another recommendation is to keep these tools in your shade sail kit. Don't use them to change the oil or, or whatever else uh, around the shop. Keep these in your kit. I also keep a small uh, level in there. This is small enough to fit into a, a normal toolbox. This comes in handy for uh, plumbing the posts. You wanna keep a half a bubble out so throw one of these in there. I like this tape measure. I just found this tape uh, at the store. So this one has like a built-in cross-reference. So if you've done enough shade cell measuring or, or your, your people have done enough shade cell, they're gonna make a mistake at some point. This is like a double check. So it's got one, you know, it's got the foot, two foot, three foot. So if, if your measurement was say three foot one, you know, you write down three foot one, but you can also write down the 37. So I just saw this tape for the first time today, and it's my new recommendation for a, uh, a tape measure for measuring your shade sails. It has a built-in cross check. For pulling the sails tight, I like to use a ratchet strap. You can also use some rope. This is a pretty small rope, but if you, if you go back and forth a few times, you can cinch it up and, and pull that sail close. Of course, you should always wear safety glasses wherever. Whenever you're thinking about wearing it, you should put them on. And then uh, the safety wire, keep this. These are like eight bucks. Just go get a couple of them, throw them in the box. And then as you're tie wiring your turnbuckle, a vice grip with the cutter is what I use. That way you can cut the, cut the wire and then twist it with the vice grip. And I'll say it again, I recommend keeping this, this pair of vice grips, they're pretty handy that you're gonna to wanna to put them in your car or whatever. Keep it in your toolkit for the shade sails. And get the one with the cutter in it. The last thing is gonna be the, the white lithium grease. We always send you anti-seize with the turnbuckles. If, if it gets lost or maybe you're going back to a job site, these are just a few bucks. Get one of these and throw it in your toolbox and this works in place of the uh, anti-seize. I think I covered everything, so this fits in a pretty small package. At the risk of a uh, broken record, I'm going to say it again, just, just get one, one of each of these and throw them in there. You're probably going to want to have some extra hardware, but if you hit every job site with just this hardware, you're probably going to be able to get the job done. So go online, sign up for Shade Cell University. Thank you.